So welcome if you've just joined us. We are in Varna, Bulgaria for the Super Combat the World Grand Prix. Comes from Romania, 27 years old, 1.98 tall, 119 kilos, born in Cluj Napoca, coached by Alin Panaite in the blue corner from Romania, Benjamin Adekbuye. So Benny Adekbuye. representing Romania, born in Ayut, Romanian mother and a Nigerian father. Originally trained in karate and boxing. He's been a real breakout fighter here in Romania. Only the one loss. That was to Jarzinho Rosenstruck. It was a KO, a left hook. It was a dreadful mistake. But up until that, he'd had four straight wins with some very, very respectable opponents. Jenen Pocherak, Libor Polak, Joachim Thomas, Martin Hauser all fell foul the blue corner, of Adekui, Adekbuye. Since then, He's had two wins, He's Patrick Liedert and Srijan Seles. Got his work cut out tonight. One, one, two kilos. 28 years old, living in Zagreb, representing Croatia in the red corner, Mladen Brestovac. So Mladen Brestovac, this is a real step up for Adik Buje known as the Scorpion Sting from Croatia. 2008 K1 Vienna champion. 2009 K1 Rules Tournament in Budapest champion. 2009 K1 Collision Mlada Boleslav champion. Again, the Collision 2009 Final Tournament runner-up. And the 2011 Super Combat World Grand Prix two runner-up so he's come off the back of a win against Murad Bujidi lost against Ishmael Lont but uh, up until that point he'd had five wins with one draw including well a win over Mighty O it was a KO took Mighty Mo out left kick to the body but other than that, it's been mostly European opponents. But he's a very, very useful competent. And this is a real step up for Adik Bouye. Adik Bouye likes to finish it early. Brestovac, well, an experienced fighter. This will be an interesting turnout. You know the rules. I say stop, he stop. No clinch, no elbow. Okay. So, Good luck. Benjamin Adegbuye of Romania takes on Mladen Brestovac. Adegbuye, Judge. 12 bouts, Judge. 10 wins, Judge. 6 by way of KO. Fight. Mladen Brestovac, 46 fights, 37 wins, 26 KOs. This is going to be a real power clash here. Brestovac, as I said, took out Mighty Mo with a kick. It's a dangerous man downstairs. If Adik Bouye can harness the power that he's got, and as you can see, that left hand of Adik Bouye is very dangerous. If you can harness the power, focus it and get it on target, well, he's going to trouble Brestovac here tonight. So, this event coming live from the Palace of Culture and Sports in Varna, Bulgaria. Annexed to the NSB Sport Palace Hotel. 
So a real technical start to the beginning of this. Just over a minute in, and Adik Bouye pressurizing Restovac. And that's the skill, there's the danger. Restovac has the armory, but Adik Bouye can take a shot. Good skills from Ladin Restovac. Well, Adik Bouye replies with some skills of his own. Up goes the high kick. That kick to the midsection, he's got to be very careful of Adik Bouye. And to take out someone like Mighty Mo, that's got to be an awesome technique employed by Brestovac. really working with the hands but takes a very good straight left through the guard can't be sloppy added Bouye's hand slightly faster in that exchange well he's grown up a lot since that KO that he suffered against Jarzinho Rosenstruck he had a real, real flaw in his technique. He dropped the right hand and it left him open to a left hook. Jarzinho Rosenstruck found it a couple of times before he eventually took him out. So he's tightened up his act here. Brestovac, not exactly having an open season, but at the bell, it's an interesting first round. And I think Bouye still looks fairly comfortable, but it was hard work. So trained by Alin Penate. Then he's employed his own fitness trailer, Alejandro Argudin Zaharia. Trains out of the respect gym. So this is the action here. And Adik Bouye did very well. If you see, he's closed the space. He's very, very in Brestovac's face. Kept his guard up, took the kick. Brestovac had to come up higher because the guard was high. Couldn't get the power in it. But that uh, kick to the midsection is always going to be a danger. That's a Brestovac trademark strike. Two of a scheduled three in the semi-final number one. Super Combat World Grand Prix 10 qualification. Benjamin Adigbouye in the white shorts. Fighting, interestingly, the Southpaw, Mladin Brestovac of Croatia. And Adigbouye not troubled by the fact that uh, Restovac leading with the right. So the pace has settled down. It was a very technical first round, especially for these two, because they like to go out all guns blazing. Restovac, great legs. Oh, he cuffed him just like a lion playing with a cub. Adik Bouye has enormous potential. Brestovac has the experience to come back from this, but we're over halfway through the second round. But that was an awesome shot. And Adik Bouye needs to keep tight. No clinch. Of course, the Super Combat promotion brought to you by Mr. Edward Irimea. And this event has grown 
not only in popularity and stature, but in quality as well. Oladik Boye slowing it down, having it all his own way here with the hands. Very heavy hands. And you've got to remember, Mladen Brestovac, a former Croatian Muay Thai champion. Of course, his trainer, Alexander Pupak, in the corner going, well, slightly ballistic. So, under half a minute left, Adig Bouye pacing himself. Brestovac using this round to recover. And Adig Bouye really not used to going the distance. So, this is a good run out for the boy. And he's starting to blow now, Adig Bouye. Restovac absolutely hammered with that shot. This is how he did it. Well, it was tricksy because it looked as if the left had kissed his cheek. But it wasn't. The left went in as the feint. There's the big right. And the leverage was enough. Oh, my goodness, he sold that perfectly. Looked like the left. But it was a hammering shot straight through the middle. So... If he can dance this round and keep the point score up, it's a romp home for Adig Bouye against a very, very respectable opponent. Round three of three in this, the Super Combat World Grand Prix. First Super Final. Benjamin Adigbouye, Mladen Brestovac. Brestovac knows what he has to do here. Adigbouye's marched forward the whole time, really pressurized. Brestovac. I don't think Brestovac was quite ready for this. Brestovac trying to get into this now in the final round. And Igbuye still looks relaxed. And Igbuye takes a shot on the inside there, a little uppercut. Well, Brestovac putting the combinations together here beautifully. Right, left, then the high kick. Oh. Adi Bouye now starting to look just a little bit gassy. And uh, needs to keep the hands up. Restovac could take him with a high kick. He's got the capability. Well, this is where it could all go wrong for Adik Bouye if he doesn't compose. Trying hard to keep on his toes. But has Brestovac got enough in there? Half a minute left. Adig Bouye knows he's got to cut the distance, so he moves forward. But it's perfunctory work coming from Adig Bouye. 
So we're on the 10 second clapper. And I think Adi Bouye has done enough to cruise home here. That last exchange was probably enough. So that was a real step up for Benjamin Adibouye. He's can't wait. We can see that. But uh, he still retained the power. And that was the danger. But Adibouye trained hard quite clearly and repaired that real, real gaping hole in his defence. So let's wait for the official verdict. There was incidentally a reserve fight between Radouin Cairo and Kolyo Ivanov. That now has been transferred to the main card and will become a super fight. So, the winner, a good win for Adik Bouye. Great win for the young man. He'll go from strength to strength. Benjamin Adekui is the first finalist of our pyramid. So, what a lively opener. By Mr. Dan Nikolai from Dose Energy Drink. Next up.